Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you part two of a three-part replay between Moon and Soccer here on Terranus Stand. Right now, um, Moon has finally set up his expansion to the north. Um, Soccer is really, really far behind right now. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, not Soccer, Sky. Excuse me, um, I just did a game between Sky and on by, against Soccer. Anyways, going to go ahead and get this game started before I get myself even more confused. A moon now getting a level 3 Pandurian Brewmaster in just a second. There it goes. And now level 3 Pandurian Brewmaster, level 4 Demon Hunter moving out. So definitely Moon has the advantage against Sky at this point. We have um, a keep currently being upgraded and um, triple towers being built in the main base while there are a lot of towers being built over here in Sky as in Sky's base as well. Sky f finally looking like he has some sort of direction and strategy that he wants to go. Looking to go the mortar strategy um, by the looks of it. Getting a blacksmith wanting to get mortars to counteract all those huntresses and those dryads that will be most likely coming out in just a second. Moon sitting at 48 right now. Um, in turn, or sitting at 50 over 60 in, in trying not to get into high upkeep and now we have um, the demon hunter trying to um, finish all the scouting that he wanted to finish Mountain King now sitting at level um, level 3 almost level 4 picking up some uh, mercenaries from the mercenary camp trying to bolt off trying to um, take down this mercenary camp I really don't like this mercenary camp as I think 4 out of the 5 units here have slow so it is just an annoying annoying um, place to just try to take down demon hunter is revealed mana burned and trying to ooh not able to take down that low hit point footman very nicely done um so mountain king now trying to move back out let's see um how this is really going to work over here the pandurian brewmaster still doing creeping over here to the north um low hit point a huntress has to worry and now um the pandurian brewmaster finishing up with saving that low hit point huntress at 11 hit points right now no staff of preservation that i can see uh, no staff of preservation on the demon hunter demon hunter creeping by himself i'm not quite sure um wh why he would creep by himself right now now, anyways, the Pandarian Brewmaster is still trying to uh, finish off the creeps right now. Perhaps wanting to finish off the creeps as a denial to Sky. As Sky does not have his secondary hero, if he does not have his secondary hero, um, it, it's going to be much harder to creep later. Now, still not, still not having, still not training a secondary hero. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Perhaps is waiting on the wood. Um, is should have enough of the wood right now and getting that masonry upgrade. Demon Hunter once again moving back out. We have Hippogriffs up in the air. So um, more Hippogriffs being produced. And, and I've seen Hippogriffs come into the play lo a lot lately. So I'm a little, I'm not too surprised that there are Hippogriffs. Um, as I guess it, it's just becoming more of a metagame in order to counteract that um, Goblin Zeppelin right now. Anyways... <clears throat> Right now we have the workshops now coming in, and workshops, no um, no rifle upgrades that I can see, and now we should be getting some mortar teams in just a second. Right now looking throughout looking throughout the bases, trying to find the main army of um, of Sky. Sky's main army pretty much sitting in that goblin zeppelin, kind of hard to see when it's a single red dot running around. Reveal being casted on that town hall, and now, um, well, no, flying machines. Flying machines as the as the counter. I'm not quite sure about that. With triple workshops with mass flying machines, I I, I don't know. I I can't believe that that's really what the strategy is going to be. We have a blood mage as a secondary hero from Moon. So Moon, um, um, and Moon now getting um almost level four on that Pandaria and Brewmaster. This game has just been so interesting, and I can't really make any predictions anymore. Taskmaster now getting taken down once again. Every single unit being slowed as the mud golems and the cobalt sorcerers all have and the, the ability to cast slow right now. And Huntress is now coming in, and level four on that Mountain King gonna get quickly picked up by that Zeppelin. And no, that slow slow hit point, uh, low hit point footman trying to run away, getting moved away, and that flying machine, you know, uh, Orb of Venom. Oh, Goblin Zeppelin desperately trying to run away from that Hippogriff. Hippogriff trying to chase down and now able to just turn around, get a bolt off on that Hippogriff. Down it goes. A blood, um, that Goblin Zeppelin is saved right now. Uh, what, four, five towers in the base right now. Siphon mana on that, or sorry, um, yeah, siphon mana onto that Mountain King. Low hit point Huntress is now trying to move out as well. And they may run into the path of these towers. And if that's the case, those Huntresses are just going to quickly fall. But down goes one Huntress, down goes another. Um, I think that was a misplay by Moon. Not quite sure what that was about. Anyways, um, Dilemma Hunter now continuing to move um, move, uh, move back out of here. We had the Pandurian Brewmaster moving out as well, so 
Uh, I think this is going to be a Mountain King mana batter mana battery strategy with siphon ma with siphon mana and banish. So if that Mountain King can get a bolt off on a banished unit and that Blood Mage can just start pumping mana into that Mountain King, that's going to be fine. I'm not quite sure how that really works without that Archmage because the um, the Blood Mage generally runs out of mana very very quickly. Getting a bolt off on that Assassin, that Assassin, um, no additional uh, mana on any of these units unfortunately, so the Blood Mage can't siphon any mana. More militia now coming in but right now we have the Pandarian Brewmaster sitting at level 3 Druids of the Claw upgraded 2-1 Mastery Training and the Demon Hunter now moving out I think Moon still sitting at 50 food or now going to finally breaking up into high uh, into low upkeep not quite sure where all of his gold went he, he had a lot of gold at one point Ma um, Pandarian Brewmaster quickly getting um, um, quickly getting bolted and all the mana siphoned out Demon Hunter now getting his mana siphoned as well Mountain King uh, getting a mana burn off and now we have tanks coming in so Tanks are now coming in as the strategy. Um, low hit point Blood Mage now trying to run back. Mountain King very, very low on hit points trying to run away. And we have Chimeras. Okay, so that's where the food went and the money went. Chimeras being built. Siege engines trying to run towards the main base. Those um, those Chimeras do are not going to be doing a lot of damage to those siege engines. Siege engines trying to run in, trying to see what um, buildings they can take out right now. Perhaps they can take down an Ancient of Wonders, but that's pretty much all they can do at this point. Right now we have a siege engine trying to take down a Moon's main base over here, and Moon spending, I guess, all of his gold on trees. So a Moon now bu building a lot of ancients. That's why, um, yeah, the four ancient of wars in the main base. That's where all of his gold went. So 55 over 90 is a very deceptive size of his army if you consider that all those ancient of wars are pretty much slow moving knights. So wow, mass 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 amount of towers over here in the over here at the natural expansion or what I'll call the far expansion at this point. And now the uh, Blood Mage and the Mountain King not quite sure what to do. A sky sitting at 64 over 78 against an army of 61 over 90 with a whole bunch of trees. Not quite sure where those trees are anymore. Chimera is trying to chase down that low hit point siege engine and that siege engine going to get taken down and and quickly getting popped. Now we have the hippogriff taking down that um, flying machine more flying machines trying to move out and um, where did the where did that collection of ancient of wars go i'm not quite sure where they went anyways um back to the game we have um, a griffin aviary is now being produced we have mass siege tanks and we have a paladin so um wow um if you guys were looking for new strategy this is probably one of those games um, flying machines paladin um siege tanks dragon hawks um with a mountain king mana battery and paladin uh, against Demon Hunter, Pandarian Brewmaster, Bears, Hippogriffs, and uh, Chimeras. So I bet you didn't see that one coming. Right now, Moon now also getting Ancient of Wars over here as well. So that Northern Expansion getting Ancient of Wars. And uh, Chimeras quickly using that long range attack, taking out some of those units. And now here comes a swarm of flying machines quickly trying to get in, getting some damage. We may get it in a, or a shackle off. Dragonhawk Rider taking that uh, damage over Time Poison. And now a Hippogriff Rider trying to take it down. Ooh, Mana Burn on that Dragon. Hawk Rider for and forgot for a second that they had mana and they're taking 150 hit points and once again siege tanks trying to move out uh, flying machines uh, no another roar so chimera's having that plus 26 attack right now and now flying machines just still moving around the map flying machines 21 um, um sorry two over one upgrades and now the main expansion over here has been set up so sky and um sky and moon both have the same amount of expansions right now a low hip uh, siege tank get, get, trying to run around trying to be able to take down some of those buildings ancient of wars popping up over here by moon so moon having three ancient of wars and oh sorry here are the ancient of wars sighting over here so those um, ancient of wars surrounding this tree of life making sure that it doesn't get focused down and now we have the tri hero combination from human from sky now trying to come in trying to focus down these buildings ancient of wars taking um, some damage from these units and mountain king's bash doesn't work and now we have um hippogriffs and dragon hawk riders trying to um, counteract those hippogriffs so or sorry um to trying to fly machines trying to counteract those hippogriffs anyways back to the game right now a nice bolt off on that Hippogriff, but that Hippogriff not really going to be able to do much. Demon Hunter trying to come back in. 150 point mana burn on that Paladin. Uh, I remember when level 3 mana burn was 300 points. Uh, so right now even 150 point mana burn looks so broken. Anyways, back to this game right now. Hippogriff's trying to move out. We have three Ancient of War trying to protect this single Tree of Life. So And getting another Ancient of War. So this mass Ancient of War is from Moon. Moon uh, should probably detonate one of his Wisps right now as 81 food is 
because you don't get that much gold. A flying machine's getting focused down by some Hippogriffs. Hippogriffs trying to take down, wow, double peck or triple peck and able to kill one flying machine really, really quickly. Now, um, um, now or what we have, Siege Engine's trying to come in, trying to finish off these buildings. But really, I don't know what Sky can do at this point. Um, this has been a, a weird game, and Moon seems to just constantly be one step ahead throughout this whole entire fight. Stay tuned for part three and the conclusion of this replay between Moon and Sky here on Terranus Stand.